Petra wasn't built, it was carved downward from solid rock. Before we continue, subscribe for ancient engineering secrets. Most buildings start from the ground up. Petra's architects did the opposite. They started at the top of sandstone cliffs and carved downward. The Nabataeans chose this method for a reason. Carving top-down eliminated the need for scaffolding. Workers stood on the rock surface they were removing, moving downward as they progressed. This technique required extraordinary precision. One mistake meant ruining the entire structure. The treasury, Petra's most famous facade, stands 130 feet tall, carved entirely from a single cliff face. Ancient stonemasons used copper and iron chisels, hammers, and careful measurements. They worked section by section, removing tons of sandstone to reveal elaborate columns, doorways, and decorative elements. The top-down approach also provided natural drainage. Water flowed away from carved spaces, preventing erosion damage. This engineering choice helped Petra survive 2,000 years in a desert environment. Over 800 structures exist throughout Petra, each carved using this method. Temples, tombs, theaters, all revealed by removing rock rather than stacking it. The Nabataeans transformed negative space into architecture. They saw buildings hidden inside mountains and carved them free. Petra demonstrates how constraints inspire innovation. Without traditional construction materials, they mastered subtractive architecture and created one of history's most remarkable cities. What ancient engineering technique amazes you most? Share below, hit like, and subscribe to Mr. Ova for more incredible architectural discoveries.